and welcome. Today I'm going to be preparing some camarones culichis. These are from the Sinaloa region in Mexico. They are divine. Again, if you guys like those green enchiladas, salsa verde and those kind of things, you guys are going to love this shrimp. Whether you like shrimp or chicken, it's a very versatile dish even with other seafoods, but traditionally it's used with shrimp. So this is a super easy recipe. It won't take you more than about 20 minutes to do. The hard work is the prep when you're cleaning your shrimp and that's about it. But if you guys are interested in making this dish, let's head on over to my blender so we can get it started. <laughs> what I poured in here is a little bit of the heavy whipping cream. I'm putting it at the bottom only because I need something to help blend all these delicious ingredients we're about to add, okay? Our roasted chile, it's been roasted and peeled. If you guys look at enchilada videos for me, green chili enchiladas, you guys can see the roasting. And no, it's not a bad roast. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Martha Stewart roast? No, it's not. <laughs> so go ahead, add your onion, your garlic. Ooh, tearing up that cilantro like a boss. Push it down, did I max it? Yes! Mm -hmm. I maxed it as usual. You guys already know. I'm just liking the way this Nutra uh, bullet's blending my sauces. Seems easier. Yeah, it is, and it's yeah. The other one for the agua fresca for sure. Um, actually, this one too. Yeah, they're both really good. Ready? One, dos, tres, cuatro. No, no quiere. There we go. One, dos, tres. I'm on beat right now. You guys have to see what I'm looking at. Oh, okay. Apparently. <laughs> Un, dos, tres, cuatro. No, no quiere, mija. Let me help you. Girl. I'm an expert at that one. A ver. Since you guys deemed me the smoothie queen. Oh! I started without you guys. Let's okay. blend. <laughs> That's a good minute of a blend. We want it nice and creamy and smooth. So now that we blended it, let's head over to our pan. Sounds good. Yeah. We're following you. Okay. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Here we are. I already started melting. One tablespoon of butter. Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and add our sauce in here. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna end up adding like a fourth to half a cup of water in here just so that I can get all that deliciousness. So let me go ahead and shake it up a bit and I'll see you shortly. Yeah, we got it good. Make sure to get all your sauce out. Don't leave any of it behind. It's very important. This dish is divine and if you had it before, you know what I'm talking about. You're so saucy. Yeah. I don't this know when I hear one of my you know favorite what? dishes, girl. <laughs> you know what? I really love this dish. I love it in uh, nachos. Ooh. En directo desde Sinaloa. Yeah. You guys, I think you guys saw me when I got moody on one of the nacho versions I did. What? You got moody? What happened? Yeah, girl. It's because during that time when I was doing mukbang, I used to get people call me. Uh, gringa because I'm like an Ameri Americanized Mexican uh -huh. um, so I was just getting a lot of hate that I was in Mexican I get that's like the biggest insult you can give us because being Mexican American we're kind of very prideful of our roots what do you call the people that migrated to or that immigrated to like London and they're Mexican there's no like Americanized version over there obviously but is there like an English Mexican I don't know <laughs> Let us know in the comments <laughs> if you guys are from England and Mexican. And do you guys go through the same things we do here in the States? I think that's funny. Yeah, that's that's a pretty cool concept. Mm -hmm. So once you have your sauce all set up here, everything's nice and warm and bubbly, you wanna go ahead and add your heavy whipping cream. But if you don't have heavy whipping cream, you can use milk, you can use half and half, which is always great and always available at most grocery stores because my store runs out of these often. Wait, Ready? wait, wait, I don't wanna move from here. Why? <laughs> oh, you wanna keep you talking? So hey, pretty. girl, hey! <laughs> Fine, fine, I'll come down here. I know this is a cooking show. There yeah. it is. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Ready? Mm -hmm. So now let's go ahead and add our cream. Oh my goodness. Everybody's gonna be like, that girl loves heavy whipping cream. Yeah, it is. It's good fats. Mm -hmm. It changes the flavor of your dishes big time. Mm 
I also don't buy the Mexican um, cream unless I make it at home because it goes bad like overnight. Yeah, it really does. Even and I and I've tried to keep it pure, you know, like just monitor, like use the same the different spoon. You know which one doesn't go bad crazy. quickly for me? Huh. The Salvadorian crema. I can't get that at uh at my store. Well, I have to go to um, the Mexican grocery store. Mexican grocery store. Oh, okay. Robert loves that one on um like any kind of like nachos or Americanized uh, Mexican food. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to our Salvi people. We might be making yeah. some Salvadorian dishes here soon. Yeah. You guys have been requesting something very special, but. I know a few ladies in town that that, that keep me in the know. Yeah. <laughs> See, when you love food, you go to the grocery store. You have At that grocery store I go to, you have people from El Salvador, Peru, Guatemala, like everywhere. So mm -hmm. I love socializing with these ladies and I love their accent. I've yeah. been to El Salvador. I know you have. It was the most amazing <laughs> trip I've ever had. <laughs> You're gonna have to tell us about Jokes that. Jokes later. On, the, on Las Doñas, <laughs> you're gonna have to share that story with you with a few drinks maybe. Oh my goodness. Okay, friends, you know that this is a seasoning blend. And what happens when you see a seasoning blend? You gotta look in the description area right below this video. There's a little arrow, click on it. Or when you're scrolling through the comments reading, you guys can see in the description area, you guys are gonna have the seasoning blend for this, okay? So fancy. <laughs> the description area is like the old school refrigerator. When you, your mom left you a note, I want to defrost, what to get out of the fridge. How to make a certain dish. That's the that's the new modern thing is description boxes and refrigerator. Yeah. Well, the thing is that a lot of people ask me for um, the recipe in the description area, but I was being more modern and cool mom type thing <laughs> that I used to put on the video for you guys. Mm -hmm. But that's not necessary anymore. You guys can read. The little ones that need assistance will mm -hmm. uh, let me know. Anything you guys need, you let me know and I'll address for you. And it usually works like that. You tell me something on the previous video, the next day you see your change. Yep. <laughs> you want to capture so what I got going on over not here? Capture this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. A lot of my family doesn't like shrimp, you know, the picky eaters. Uh -huh. So I have some, I had to boil some extra chicken. And that's what I have going on over here, which I'm going to ask them if they want some of the sauce. I'll just scoop it off from the shrimp and pour it over the side with rice. But why don't we tell them what you just did, though? Well, I went like that and I splashed my barriga. <laughs> She got some chicken juice on her. I did. Okay, friends. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook this sauce on a medium low, and it does bubble up, kind of like tomato sauce. So just be very careful. Um, let it boil for boil. Let it cook for about five minutes, and then we're gonna come and taste our salt content. So whether you're using chicken bouillon or salt, that's the time when you wanna adjust anything once all the flavors uh, have combined and are well married and they're having fun and ready to do an ay ay ay. All right, I'll see you guys in five minutes. Wipe that chicken juice off of you. Girl, I'm a bacteria walking. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna show you guys a little tip because I know if you're a parent, you have your kids asking you for water and they wanna take your water. And I live in the desert. I wanna keep my water to myself. And I have boys, okay? They're kinda gross sometimes. I love them, but they're gross. So uh, I ordered my boys these uh, thermos cups. Mm -hmm. I've had my cup for about two years rewash it, reuse it, and it keeps, if you put ice in here, it'll keep it cold for like over 12 hours. So, my sister was laughing right now because she was saying like how she sees Bayou um, with, with his cup at all times. Like he'll come and refill it. We went on a road trip, he already takes his cup, so I don't have to stop and buy them drinks or anything. So, if you guys are interested in a good cup, this is a good one to have around the house. It's great for the kids. And then, too. that's less cups that they're using because they were coming in and getting like 10 cups in a day, like two, that's 20 extra cups that I'm washing. Girl, not who has happening. time to wash all those Not dishes. happening, no, no, no. So moms, <laughs> these are, they're a bit pricey. They're about like $12, $15. I think it was like around 14, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 12, $15, depending on the size, because they have the bigger size, which is what mom has. Mm -hmm. um, and the kids have this one, but if you have thirst buckets, get them the bigger one. It's worth the money, guys. Yeah, thanks for the tip. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was super cute. I mean, he'll roll up to his sleepovers with his with his cup and yep, ice ready? and water in there. They're maletas. <laughs> so after five minutes, once your sauce has cooked and all the flavors have combined, um, I'm going to be adding cotija cheese. You asked me a lot, can I use Parmesan? Yes, you can. Of course you can. The only difference is that it's going to be a stronger flavor and it's going to change the dynamic of the dish, but it's still like going to be equally as delicious. 
The only thing with cotija cheese is that it smells a little bit funky, but when you're eating it, it just changes, it's creamy, it's smooth. Very different than Parmesan. Parmesan's a lot stronger, so it's gonna be up to you. Make it comfortable for your home. <laughs> but if you're a cheese lover, you some of us like the funky, yeah. funky cheeses. Yeah, go for it. I guess that's me um, talking because of my big people. <laughs> yeah, because I know that I have a lot of friends that have like sensory or their kids have it and are they consuming it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like Punky, I told him I was gonna let him have this with a little bit of rice. He likes the sauce, but the shrimp, he's not too crazy. I think he gets that from his daddy. You know what I think is super cool is that he actually likes cotija. Yeah, he loves cotija. But he wasn't, it wasn't always like that. Nope. Kudos to you, mama. Yeah. For all my friends that have the babies on the spectrum with sensory stuff going on, don't worry. Just take it one step at a time. Be patient with your babies. Be patient with yourselves. And if all else fails, all kids like chips and salsa, give them chips and salsa and don't stress out about the vitamins because those are veggies in there. Yeah, and so some advice that I gave some of my friends was like, don't take it personal if your kids don't like your food. Um, it just means that you have to work with them on it. Yeah. Like on what they want, maybe it's a texture, maybe it's less salt, maybe more salt. Yeah, and you have to probe, what didn't you like about the dish? Mm -hmm. All right, so now that I've added the cheese in there, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a views on the road taste. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to my mom for getting these specially made for me. Thanks, mom. Well, mom, you're getting a lot of shout outs. She's behaving herself maybe recently. Grandma has been a very, very good girl. But not with the lotter, okay? Don't worry guys, part two's coming up. Oh my goodness, I'm about to melt. This is so delicious. Okay, the measurements that I gave you is exactly what I um, add in here. So let me know if it worked for you. That way I know like how to gauge what you guys like. All right, show time. You ready? What do you got in there? Okay. I've already uh, rinsed my shrimp or butterfly. Mm -hmm. Somewhat butterfly. You know, I give it my own <laughs> my own twist to them. Oi, girl, are you dancing over there? No, the tripod tripped over your views on the road spoon. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the shrimp in here. You guys, I know shrimp can be pricey. So make do, you can chop it up bigger. For this one, I like to get the big shrimp just because I like to grab the rice and just, you know, get a big Korean spoon and shove it down. <laughs> mm -hmm. This sauce is pure magic. Yeah, and if you guys don't like seafood, um, you can use it with some chicken. It should be good with the chicken, like some shredded chicken in here um, or how I taught you guys how to butter the chicken. And then with rice and the sauce, you're set. You guys know with the sauce and rice, that one is a dish on its own. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stir this real quick. I'm gonna put a lid on it and I'm gonna cook it for about three minutes, okay? Because I like my shrimp overcooked, but my sister's teaching me uh, a different texture for <laughs> shrimp. And I'm embracing it, okay? I'm embracing it. I've grown up a lot. You guys are watching me get very old right before your eyes. <laughs> Wise. Yeah, Wise. well I used to be <laughs> I used to be a bit more stubborn, <laughs> but now that I'm getting older, all that stubbornness is going away probably out of fear that when you get older, people stop liking you. <laughs> right? Like what? you're just, yeah, like when you get older, people start thinking you're a nuisance, like we're equally as valuable. So if you guys are older over there, don't worry, we're valuable. Yes, we, we know are. what's up. Mm -hmm. we, we hold the knowledge. A, we can serve a purpose just yes. like uh, Jim Carrey said in Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. Although old. You can still serve a purpose. <laughs> really? I can't with you, Cloud. All right, friends. I think I have like two minutes left on this. So let me put the lid on it before I keep talking to you. Put a lid on it. <laughs> put, that's what everybody wants to say. Put a lid on it, Steph. Now if I could just find... <laughs> Are those pants too tight for you, girl? You need help? No, girl, it's because my lid... I have like a billion lids down here and they get stuck. The next time you need a pen, I'm, I'm gonna chime in and say, nope, Robert, she's got a billion lid pens. So that means she's got a billion pens. Babe, that's not true. Don't listen to your sister. <laughs> Do not listen to your sister. That's not true, babe. I love pens. She doesn't have enough. I don't, babe. <laughs> All right, my shrimp have turned that pink orangey color. They are cooked, yes. Okay, so there's gonna be two options that you can do. 
Okay. Oh, this, this pan's being happy and loud. <laughs> so you can either add your cheese to your pot or you can serve it on a plate and then add your cheese. It's gonna be up to you. If you serve it on a plate and it's for an adult, put your oven on broil, put your uh, hot plate, something that can withhold the temperature of your oven so that way you get some of that crispy cheese on the top when it's melting and it just looks more presentable. So it's gonna be up to you guys. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop it in this plate. <laughs> I was telling Bebe what I was uh, making for dinner and he's like, I'll have the shrimp one. And then Bayo's like, I won't. I will not. <laughs> I'm like, but you still, I said you have to taste the sauce. Uh, the cheese that I'm using today is Oaxaca. Uh, queso manchego and mozzarella will work excellent with this dish, okay? The um, queso Oaxaca has a little bit more of a creamy texture to it. So it's just gonna be up to you guys to pick your cheese. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and I'm gonna plate it and I'll see you shortly so we can taste it. Girl, look at that cheese. Oh, it smells amazing. Girl, I'm gonna make a moat right now. And the rice is my castle. Do it. <laughs> Camarones, culiches, I love you. That's a horrible rhyme. Ahí estamos. Yes? Mm -hmm. Ajua! It's time to eat. All right, we're about to get a good, delicious taste test, but this cheesy is cheesy. And since they're my germs, here you go, Cloud. Yay! Woohoo! That's for you guys and for Cloud. Get the bottom right there, because it's juicy. Okay. You're holding on tight like that is a, like that is a pole, girl. <laughs> We're telling our friends my secrets. <laughs> well, I love it with rice for the sauce, but the shrimp while you're here, you can put some salsa on top of it and go to town on your mm -hmm. little taco. Mm -hmm. Give it a taste. Whoa. Mm -mm -mm. You got me like, whoa. You know, in a way I'm honoring my grandfather Mm -hmm. For my mother's side, that's from Sinaloa. From Padre Descanse. Mm -hmm. Con su botella de tequila. That man was such a drunk. He really was. Never what? heard anybody's feelings though when he was under No, he didn't. Both of our grandparents were drunks, but mm -hmm. they were happy drunks. They were kind. Salud. Mm-hmm. Girl. We're just getting you guys ready for Cantina Wednesday, okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be ready. Because we had a long and hard week. So we need a little light cap. Eso, eso, eso. Mm-hmm. Déjame aclarar el sistema. <laughs> so good. De verdad, este mija. Un orgullo mexicano. Mm -hmm. Los camarones. Ah, tú. <laughs> <laughs> All right, friends, I hope you enjoy this dish. It's really amazing. If you guys like this, um, the green enchiladas and that type of recipes that I've shown you, and you eat seafood or chicken, you're gonna love this sauce. You hear pretty clacking? She's busy, she wants some cabarones too. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I hope you enjoy it. Please come back and let me know. This will only be spicy if the chilies uh, you roasted are spicy. So if you're roasting your chilies and you smell that, that spice that you're coughing, that means that that chili is gonna be really spicy. Move it to the side and maybe roast a different one. That's the only thing I can foresee you guys having a difficulty with because I know some of you watch your spice. Other than that, I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me. Make sure that your notifications are on, that you're subscribed, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Ayo!